welcome to this tutorial video. My name is Carmen and I'm from New Leaf Designs and I'm also the designer behind the Cozy Moments shawl and we're knitting this shawl right now in the Valentine's make-along, the Val Mal. So I've just started on my baby shawl. This is what we've knit in the last video, which was all about the garter tab. And in this video, I'm going to take you along with me to do the increases right after the garter tab and give you some tips and tricks along the way. So let's start knitting. Alrighty, so we have our little garter tab right here and the row counter is at one, which means we just completed row one. And we should move on to row two, which is on the right side. And for all of your rows throughout the shawl, we're going to be knitting the stitches on the outside of the stitch markers. We're all, always going to be knitting them knitwise. So row two, which is an increase row, says K4, which is knit four. Then we're slipping the marker and then we are going to increase on every stitch with KFB knit front back. So we knit into the front and back loop of every stitch. So this first one, I'm taking the front loop, I'm knitting into that and I'm not dropping this stitch off the needle. I'm inserting in the back loop. So if I'm just turning my work like this, I'm putting my needle in this back loop and I'm knitting into that stitch as well. So I've made two stitches out of one stitch. We're going to do that for every one of these six stitches. So knitting into the first, into the front loop, and then taking that back loop and knitting into that one as well. And then just doing the same for all stitches until we reach the marker. And this is going to double our stitch count to 12 stitches in between the marker. And there we go, we now have 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. We're going to slip the marker and knit these four stitches. That was our first increase row. Now turning our work to the wrong side row. And we're going to be adding a little bit of effect in this row. Just uh, switching to continental style knitting because that is faster for me. So knit those four stitches like always, slip the marker and then we're going to purl one, knit one, and repeat that throughout until the stitch marker. So purl one. The purl looks a little bit different when I'm knitting continental style. So purl one, knit one, and repeat this. And this will create a little bit of texture for your first section of the shawl. It's going to create a little bit of a moss stitch effect. So ending with another purl one, knit one, slipping that marker, and knitting the last four stitches. Then turning our work to the right side again. Oh, I completely forgot to update our row counter. So we just did row three. 
Okay, we're going to repeat increase row 2. So that means knit front back on all stitches. So we're going to double our stitch count again. So knit into the front and knit into the back. And because that extra stitch we get out of the knit front back, it kind of looks like a purl stitch. See, it kind of creates this horizontal bar. So by so that kind of uh, creates a mass stitch effect as well. As you see, I can, I really stretch my stitches to be able to see them correctly. And knitting those last four stitches. Okay, and not forgetting to update my row counter. We just did row four. All right. And now we're gonna repeat row three so it's gonna be purl one oops gotta complete that stitch so it's gonna be purl one knit one again I find continental style knitting especially handy when it comes to uh, alternating knit and purl stitches because with throwing style it takes so much longer um, if you have to switch between knits and then purls. Okay, and then finishing the row with those four knit stitches and updating our row counter. There, now from the next row, we're going to be starting a little moss stitch section. So, this, what we've knit until now. Is already gonna look a little bit similar to moss stitch because of all the knit from back and the knit one purl one at the um, at the wrong side but now we're gonna be knitting a uh, moss stitch for a couple of rows to um, elongate this effect or to keep this effect um, and moss stitch is actually just knit one purl one so that's what we're gonna do on the right side knit one purl one and then on the wrong side you're going to do the opposite of what you see and I'm gonna explain that in a little bit basically we're doing the reverse stitch so that you get this little texture pattern it's basically what we're doing right now. We're seeing a purl stitch here, but we're knitting into this stitch. We're seeing a knit stitch here, but we're purling into that. Okay. 
Okay, that was row six. I'm just going to do the wrong side row with you, and then I'll leave you to do a little bit of knitting on your own. So the wrong side of our moss stitch pattern, as I said, is reversed. So we're going to be purl one and knitting one. So purl one, knit one, and continuing that throughout until we reach the marker. And say you've not attached the row counter to the front or for any reason you forget what the front of your work is. Always remember that during this section the wrong side rows start with a purl and the right side rows start with a knit stitch. And that's how you can recognize what the front or back of your work is. But as I said, I've uh, attached the row counter to the front of my work so I don't get confused. All right. That was row seven, and our little shawl has grown quite a bit, as you can see. There, that was row seven. All right, so we've just started the little moss stitch section, which uh, are rows six and seven. And for rows eight through 11, you're going to repeat those rows. So I'm just working on row eight. I could have put down my knitting, but I can't. I'm just so addicted. So <laughs> I'm going to stop now so I can talk to you guys properly. So you're going to um, knit in pattern. So repeat those moss stitch rows until you reach the end of row 11. And then you're going to do another increase row for row 12. And that increase row is gonna be exactly the same as we've done before. So you knit four, knit front back on each of the stitches in between the stitch markers and knit the four stitches at the end again. After that row, you're gonna to want to put in a lifeline now I'm going to tell you all about lifelines and how to use them in the next video. So I hope to see you next time. If you are sharing any pictures of your Cozy Moments shawl, be sure to share them with hashtag Cozy Moment Shawl and hashtag Val Mal for the Valentine's make along. And you can do so on Instagram. And if so, you can tag me. I'm at newleafdesigns.nl. And you can also share them in the Scapius Facebook groups where we'll be chatting all day long about this shawl and this make along. And I'll be in there to help you. So be sure to place any questions in there if you have them and I'll come and help you. All right, happy knitting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.